Hey everyone, I'm Josh. Um, I'm going to show you guys um, an example that I created um, based off line balancing. Um, I decided to correlate my example to golf since I play here at Mount St. Mary's. And um, I'm going to be taking you guys out to Quail Valley, our home golf course, and showing you what it's like. So while playing hole 14, hole 14 is a very common hole in golf. It's not too long, it's not too small, short, and the green is fairly flat, so it's, it's easy for golfers to keep their pace of play going. So I found that while playing the hole that there's six different stations with a bunch of different activities, which can be shown in, in each of them. They're fairly common in all of them. Um, the first station is tee shot, the second one is walking from tee to the fairway, the third is approach shot, station four is walking from fairway to green, the fifth one is reading a putt, and the sixth one is hitting the actual putt. So I, I, found, I found all my durations, how long it took me to do each of these steps, and the total came out to be 323 seconds. So the question that I pose is Quail Valley Golf Course is strict regarding pace of play. They have a demand of 24 players playing hole 14 in an hour. Is it sufficient for them to meet this requirement? So my first step was to add up all the durations, which gives me the DLC, direct labor content, 323 seconds. From there, I wanted to find tack time. Tack time, is one which equals one over the demand and in this case 24 was the demand so I'm going to take one over 24 and multiply that by 3600 to get me 150 seconds So tack time in this sense is to get all 24 players done on hole 14 in just one hour. Now, something to keep in mind is that 164 outweighs all the other stations. This 164 seconds is actually going to be the bottleneck station. The bottleneck is the the station that with the highest duration and in order it is it is possible to get the 24 players done in an hour however in station two where it is walking from tee to fairway it is important that to speed up pace of play and to make it very possible that if you're playing in a group that the players are doing step three while one person is doing step two or or when someone's hitting their tee shot in station one, 
the other person is walking from the fair, from the tea to the fairway. This speeds up the process and does make it possible for Quail Valley to allow hole 14 to have 24 players play that hole in just one hour. So from all this, I wanted to show um, the variations of duration throughout all the stations through a line balancing chart. So this axis is going to be the demand, this axis is going to be time. So you can see the peaks and the drop offs throughout this chart. And this is where it begins at station one, which is going to be around 30 seconds, then it, a big, big peak at 164 seconds for station two, a drop off to station three, then a slight rise for station four, a pretty subtle drop off at five, and then a slowly drop off at station six where it just evens out at around 16 seconds. But you can see much of playing hole 14 was time consuming in the first few stations than it was towards the end. So most of it is due to walking and hitting your shot, whereas this is reading the green and just hitting a, a short putt.